Madness! If you have one shred of courage left in your body, then you'll walk down here and face me in front of your countrymen and hear what I have to say. It's no longer going to be Magnus rules when Magnus defends the world heavyweight title against Samoa Joe in Miami this Sunday. You know, in the past, many people have accused Magnus of being a paper champion, hiding behind stipulations that allowed him to retain that title. That's not going to be the case in Miami. Well, you heard that earlier with Dixie Carter, TNA president Magnus. Magnus was looking for a little, uh, a little help. I mean, listen, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I have no problem with Magnus. I think he is a, an excellent champion. He's a clever champion. Magnus is a thinking man's competitor. He isn't a paper champion. I don't think he's a paper champion. You know, I mean, a lot of people say that. I know you feel this. And a lot of the locker room feels that. Obviously, our fan base feels that. His own country here of England, I mean, that people in the UK, they despise and hate this guy. I mean, just imagine, tell you? Well, just imagine when we get back to the States. They're going to hate him even more there. You should just know better. You should just know better than that. You should just know better than to say that to me. Question my courage. Question my manhood. Question who I am. Because you know me. You know me better than anybody. You stood side by side with me. In fact, it was in this very building, in this very ring in a defining moment of my career when I said, this is England. And you were right there. We won championships in Japan and in TNA. Then you turned your back on me. Then along came the Bound for Glory series. And once again, the spotlight's all on me. Then look who wants to be teammates again, except this time it's in the main event mafia. <laughs> what a joke! The minute the mafia was gone, I became the main event. I became the world champion. And you can't stand it, can you? It makes you so angry. It fills you with rage. And that rage will be your undoing. You see, Joe, I have a healthy fear of you. You are a bad, bad man. And you have been the champion before. You have been at the top of the mountain, I know, because I looked up to you. But how many times have you had the chance to be the very top man in the industry and blown it because of that rage. You know it and I know it. You can't control that rage. And that rage makes you vulnerable. That vulnerability makes you weak. And that weakness is what I will take advantage of and is the reason that at lockdown, I will walk into that cage, then I will walk out of that cage. Still, the world heavyweight champion. Magnus, everything you said is absolutely true, except your perception's a little skewed. You see, you're right, I have a rage problem. You see, when I have my opponent pounded into the mat, beaten at my feet, instead of securing victory, sometimes I have a problem because I want to drink their pain and I want to shed their blood. Sometimes, sometimes I black out. I get a little bit crazy and I don't understand the things I do. And you're right, you're right. 
the rules of pro wrestling are not conducive to my brand of violence. But you see at Lockdown Magnus, it's not those rules, it's Joe's rules. And when it's Joe's rules, you either get knocked out or you tap out. And we already know you're very capable of doing one of those things. So listen to me. When you walk that aisle, when you climb into that cage with me and that door closes and you stare at the inevitable, know that I will drink your pain, I will shed your blood, and you won't walk out the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. In fact, you won't walk out at all. Oh! Magnus, I think, trying to send a message to Samoa Joe about how physical it's going to be Sunday. Did you see the headbutt? Yeah, he's sucking him with that headbutt. And the, the, the sense of urgency by Magnus getting all over Joe. But now you Joe want urgency. turned the tables here. You want rage. You want intensity. And you want fire. Look at Samoa Joe. I don't know if this was smart by Magnus, the world champ, to get into a slugfest here. Oh, no! There's